It was due to no water. These, this sign right here, spotted at several businesses in one Nash County town. Duke Energy says its crews hit a water main today while replacing utility poles in Spring Hope, shutting off its water supply for hours. This was the second time the town was without water in one week's time. WRL's Aaron Thomas is live in Nash County tonight with a call to action for the state to step in. Aaron, this is frustrating for people that live there. Yeah, most well, certainly. We've definitely heard this over and over again from several residents. Now, get this. These two businesses behind me, they were open, but places like the subway, they were closed tonight because of this ongoing water outage. Now, the mayor says that uh, the water has been partially restored. It's slowly starting to come back on, but it's going to take millions of dollars from the state to repair infrastructure. This is what people living and working in Spring Hope had to deal with after another water main break within a week. Absolutely, local businesses are taking a hit due to this. Take a look for yourself. We counted a handful of them forced to shut down for the night due to the water outage. Over at Lucas's Barbershop. No, that's that's not quite full pressure. Jeremy Lucas says it's just enough pressure to stay open and cut hair. He's taking every precaution to keep tools sanitized. Barbers got to keep their hands clean. We got it's, it's very important that we keep out. Water. Over at Mimo's Pizza, little to no water pressure forced employees to buy gallons of water to cook pasta and wash dishes. Mayor Cal Pritchard blames crumbling infrastructure for the repeated water outage. If we don't get that $3.7 million that's been allocated to us over a year ago, it was put in the state budget over a year ago. If we can't get that, uh, our only fate is con continued outages. Tonight, I've reached out to the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality and state representatives to find out where these funds could be held up. We're still waiting to hear back. People in Spring Hope hoping for long-term solutions rather than temporary fixes. As soon as we get the money is put in insertion valves, break the town into quadrants or either five sections, then we can isolate the town to or the leak to one section of town. It's an old town, so yeah, we definitely need some uh, upgrades to our infrastructure. Yeah, and this sign here, no water. We saw this quite a bit uh, throughout town. Now, the mayor says tomorrow he is planning on meeting with Nash County Emergency Services as well as the State Emergency Division to find out if there's any financial assistance for many of these businesses that may have lost money. Michelle? Here's hoping. Aaron Thomas, live in Spring Hope. Thanks, Aaron.